Hey, what's up, people? Um, Benny out here. This is EPAC. We just uh, saw a blonde redhead in ATX, and uh, we'll say some things about that. Yeah, basically, I'm not that familiar with the band. I'm, uh, you know, coming to them from. I mean, I I knew the basics. We got the Italian brothers, uh, drummer, guitar player, and then the singer formed in New York. Back Amadeo in the days. y Matteo, something. Amadeo y Matteo. Um, but even like, I just know the album cover. We got like the faces, like those red squares, right? Uh huh. Red squares, red square, red square, red square. And I think they played some tracks from that. Would you say so? Uh, my personal favorite from Blonde Redhead is 23, the song called 23, and we did not hear that. Okay. However, I'm going to focus on the positive aspects of this concert, which was uh, this place called Mohawk in Austin. It's a really cool place. Uh, the weather was not concerning. Uh, a bit sticky. A bit sticky. Uh, it was not that crowded. Um, we saw lots of hipsters, lots, uh, of hipsters. lots of cowboy boots, cowboy boots, lots of dream pop, lots of grunge. Okay, so look, now that you're bringing in, into genres, if we're talking genres, are we talking dream pop? Are we talking shoegaze? Are we talking just art rock? Let's say that the shoegaze constitutes the very basis. But you said and from there we continue. They were wearing cowboy boots though, so it was more like boot gaze or. I think I was just talking about the audience. Got when it. I was okay. That. What yeah. type of shoes were the band members wearing? Um, <laughs> the lead singer had Jordans, actually. Is, is lit. So mm -hmm. uh, the drummer had this jumpsuit on, and then the lead singer had the lead Jordan. singer had boots that I could not identify. How would you talk about the um, the? fashion choices of the keyboard and guitar singer whose name I'm not forgetting right now. They obviously are like Mediterranean gentlemen so... What about the lead singer though? The other singer? The woman singer? Uh, I don't know about her origins but what no, is, what is what, origins? What, right? what is origins? <laughs> okay so the, the, the idea of like genre anyways doesn't really like I don't know where to put them but um, they definitely... They didn't smile that much. We noticed they did that. not smile, and Benny wanted them to smile and like say, "Hey, yeah. ATX, my peeps." They didn't do that. Yeah. It's um, okay though. But Benny made some friends actually. <laughs> I did make some friends. <laughs> didn't know a lot of the songs. Did make a lot of friends. I met the drummer from this band, LCD, and the Search for God. This is kind of like part of like a. It's kind of like a shoegaze, but also kind of what's the called? Um, what's that called? Uh, what's the, what's that genre called I'm thinking of? Uh, like in the 60s, it was like, um... What was it? Hallucinating, experimental, psychedelic. That's, is, that, is that what the small festival is? Um, Are you talking about psychedelic rock? I think I'm talking about that. Like the festival Levitation is about psychedelic rock? Psychedelic. This festival is, yeah. Psy psychedelic festival. This is about psychedelic rock. That's it's true. about the psychedelic rock. And so, there's bands such as Codeine, such as, I don't know, some band you know, you're going to another part of the festival, right? Yeah. Uh, but I think this was the highlight of the festival. Yeah, we actually saw a cool we saw local, the we saw like a opening band too, they're called um, Blush, Blushing? I was not interested in them. Okay. But Benny was. I'm gonna go ahead and check them out later. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been really great Cheers. to, to Listen be Cheers. Listen to Blonde Redheads. Blessings. BR, BR. Have a good night.